This video, showcases the operations activity on board Ciro's FPSO with a brief on the overall project. Project Sea Rose, is a floating, production, storage, and offloading vessel designed and constructed to exploit the oil resources. In the White Rose oil field, located approximately 350 kilometers off the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. The project commenced in 2002, and the FPSO began operations in 2005. The Sea Rose FPSO, is operated by Husky Energy, and has played a significant role in the Canadian oil industry. The Sea Rose FPSO, is based on a converted oil tanker, the MV Afran Zodiac. The vessel underwent extensive modifications, to adapt it for its new role as an FPSO. The hull measures 272 meters in length, 46 meters in width, and 27 meters in depth. Its deadweight tonnage, DWT, is approximately 148,000 metric tons. The top sides of the Sea Rose FPSO house the processing facilities, utilities, and accommodations. The process facilities include oil separation, gas treatment, and water treatment systems, as well as power generation and utility systems. The top sides have a combined weight of 18,000 metric tons, and were constructed in South Korea before being transported to the field for installation. As an overview, the top sides oil and gas processing is as follows. Separation The Sea Rose FPSO, is designed to handle, a production capacity of 140,000 barrels of oil per day, and 2.5 million cubic meters, of natural gas per day. The oil and gas are separated, in a three-phase separation system, which includes a first-stage separator, a second-stage separator, and a third-stage separator. Gas treatment. After separation, the gas undergoes treatment to remove any remaining liquids and impurities. The gas is then compressed and used for power generation or re-injected into the reservoir to maintain pressure. Water treatment. Produced water from the oil separation process, is treated to remove oil and solids. The treated water is then, discharged into the sea or re-injected into the reservoir, storage and offloading systems. The Sea Rose FPSO, has a storage capacity of 940,000 barrels of oil. The oil, is stored in the hull's cargo tanks, which are divided into several compartments, to minimize the risk of oil spills in case of an accident. Offloading operations, take place approximately every 10 days, with a shuttle tanker connecting to the FPSO via a submerged offloading system. The FPSO, is moored using a turret mooring system, which allows the vessel to rotate around the turret, in response to changes in wind, waves, and current. The turret, is connected to the seabed, via several mooring lines and anchors, providing a stable and reliable connection to the subsea infrastructure. The FPSO is connected to a subsea production system, that includes production wells, water injection wells, and gas injection wells. The subsea infrastructure, also consists of flow lines, risers, and umbilicals that transfer fluids and control signals between the FPSO and the subsea equipment. The risers and umbilicals, are supported by a flexible pipe tower, which provides, the necessary support and flexibility, for the dynamic movement of the FPSO.